in the process of doing a van conversion for, for my van, it's a Hyundai iLoad and um, based on the space and trying to make an efficient space inside the van um, I did some research and found that um, rock and roller beds are really good for that however there's a few problems I, I stumbled upon when trying to make this a reality for the van in that A rock and roller beds a lot of them are made out of metal frames and things like that um, and I didn't really have the money to buy metal frames nor have the equipment specialized equipment to make the metal frame for the rock and roller bed and then secondly there aren't many guides or videos on YouTube or anywhere else on the internet that actually has a guide for building your own rock and roller bed um, even out of wood uh, luckily I did find one um, one web page um, which I, I'll put in the link uh, in the description of this video um, and we're basically um, basing the rock and roller bed from this guide that I found and I just thought it'd be a good idea to actually make a video of it and put it online for other people who uh, might find it useful for them so the first step is a friend a friend of myself we uh, created four identical uh, wooden frames for the bed. The way this works is there's four, obviously, as you can see, there's four separate like compartments that make up the main bed, and two of um, two of them. So the two middle ones, um, they will actually once we get the hinges in, they're going to basically sit like that so it will create like a, a couch when you put it in the upright position inside of your van um, and then obviously you can extend it out into a, into a bed another important thing just to mention is that I'm pretty much a complete novice to woodwork and um, bed building and cabinet making and all of that so this is I'm coming at it a very basic level of skill um, and I'm learning as I'm going Yeah, in terms of the actual measurements uh, of, of this frame, um, each, uh, each of these wooden compartments, they're actually uh, 470 uh, millimeters um, long, so it's 470 mil length, and then the width is 1300 uh, millimeters. We're kind of aiming to make the bed kind of like a double bed in terms of size. So the measurements for the actual timber itself uh, this is just timber I got from the local hardware store, which in Australia is Bunnings. It's 90 by 35, basically, and the the length is the standard 2.4 meters you buy in Bunnings. We we actually used uh, pocket hole screws to actually connect the, the frame together. So there's actually a specialized thing called um, a pocket hole jig, which you can buy from most hardware stores or online. And that is like a little kit that helps you basically drill the right depth and the right angle in, in the wood, in the timber. Oh, one more thing is we've also put some supports into the frame too, uh, just to make the frame a lot stronger. And it did help a lot um, putting these supports in. Uh, so we just put two supports in each frame. The next step is we're going to connect the hinges uh, just to allow the bed to work how we want it to work. Uh, we've just put the hinges in place. Uh, it didn't take very long at all. And on the Instructables post that I uh, that we're basing this off, the, the bloke had the hinges on the sides, on the sides of the frame. However, we ran into a problem with that because when we put the hinges on the edge, this part of the hinge overlapped out. Um, past the frame and that wasn't good for us because we'd need to get this frame right up against the wall of the van so we couldn't do that so we decided to uh, put the hinges in the middle two columns basically of the frame so this is how it looks when it's flat and then this is how it looks uh, when it's up so you can kind of see how the bed's going to work and these hinges I think they're called gate hinges in America but in 
Australia they're called T-hinges and I think the weight of these are 200 kilograms so they're pretty strong and they actually fit perfectly to, to, to the actual uh, to the frame in terms of all the screw holes and stuff. So the next thing we need to do is basically attach some hinges on the on the on the side of this on, on both in the middle just to help um, move the bed like to extend the bed so that's the next step the instructables post mentioned cupboard door hinges however I thought about it and I looked at it and I thought that either it, it means something else in America because I think the bloke's American so they've got different words for different things this probably wouldn't be too good so I ended up buying some butt hinges uh, from Bunnings and what I did was I ended up buying a hundred mil size butt hinge and it was too big as you can see so we had too much of an overlap so we couldn't actually get the screws into these far pockets so what we ended up doing was improvising and we just drilled uh, four holes on just a bit for closer in and um, so we did that and we just then attached the screws on both um, and also a good thing is because this is the underside having this like stick out won't actually do anything it won't affect the bed it won't you won't see it um, you won't like get your back caught or something caught uh, on the corners so it actually works out all right okay so um, we flip the bed back around uh, this is the, the actual normal side it's gonna actually be in inside the van and so this is how it works all of these four frames are now uh, together by the hinges and what the bed's gonna do is so yes this is this is the bed extended and when we want to turn it into a couch what you just do is we do that simple as that and it turns into a couch and then when we want to extend it back into um, into a bed we literally just pull it down and it and it's and it's a bed the next phase of the build for the rock and roller bed is done um, we've attached some uh, wooden legs now we've attached eight in total uh, onto the frame itself and we've attached them using just the just standard metal L brackets you can buy in any hardware store and we've uh, attached a metal bracket on each side just to make it as secure as possible these legs they're all obviously the exact same length and so these for example are 190 millimeters long and I got them cut in Bunnings uh, just because they've got like table saws and mitre saws there and they can do cuts for you and I don't actually have a mitre saw and a mitre saw I think is needed from looking online for doing perfectly straight cuts and because this is going to rest on the floor if the cut of any leg is not perfectly straight it might make the bed just feel a bit wonky and when you put your weight on it it might like move around a bit so I just had to make sure that these legs were perfectly cut level and straight and then also we've attached just a, a tie down just on the back side and this is just going to help um, when the bed's in place you can just basically pull this from the other side and it will help with uh, turning it into a couch we'll probably end up screwing just that down there so it doesn't move anywhere what we've ended up doing is basically creating storage in the front part of the of, of the bed and the way we've done that is we've just basically framed out the front section so as you can see we've we've basically blocked it off into three separate compartments so we've installed the rock and roll bed inside the van what we've done is we've used some quite uh, wide um, metal L brackets and we basically just attach them through the to the floor of the van uh, both on, on, on these two sides just to make them super strong and then on this one because we had no room to do two we just did one uh, on, on this side so we did the exact same on the opposing side here and these are absolutely solid they are just not moving at all so this is all fixed into place and then what we did was we basically just put these uh, these legs into the floor, screw them into the floor, and we secured them the same way that I just showed you that we did with the back legs. And these aren't attached to the actual bed frame. So when it lifts up, as you can see, what we've just done is we've just put some felt um, 
like stoppers on the top there just to cushion the frame when we push the frame back down onto them. And that just provides extra support here for this middle section that doesn't have any supports, just for the weight of the person. On the end here, we've attached a, it's called a flush hinge. We've attached one in each, each side and that is just for um, this storage compartment. As you can see there, it just lifts up. So the next step now is we're gonna um, screw the three remaining ply boards down onto the frame and then the actual bed frame is finished okay guys so all the plywood uh, sheets have uh, now been attached to the bed as you can see uh, so the bed is actually done now apart from the foam that i need to custom order and uh, the fabric that will go on top of the foam but um but yeah i'll just give you a quick demonstration of how it works so obviously the bed this is in the uh, downward position the sleeping position when it's in the sleeping position these hinges allow for this actual compartment to open up and it's been separated into three different compartments there for storage and that just folds down like so and then the way to actually turn the bed into a couch is we've got this tie down strap and you pull with one hand and with the other hand you push up like that so this is in its upright position this is a couch and as you can see it's very solid you're not going anywhere there yeah you can fit four people fit two people here two people even on the back so yeah you can have two people on the back there too um, and that would be nice like looking out over somewhere but uh, but yeah, this is how it how it works. And I'll just quickly show you when I pull it back down, actually. So I'm just going to pull it back out. There we go. And then we've got the bed again. So that's the rock and roll bed um, that we've done. It's pretty simple, but I think it's quite effective and it does the job and extra storage.